Before we begin guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos in the future. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, welcome back everybody to another video and today we're going to take a look at the Venomized Punisher. Number 595 in the Marvel Venom. This is a regular or a common Funko Pop. And if you haven't already picked this one up, I do have a link for you in the description down below. And it's a sponsored link, meaning if you use my link and purchase the pop, I will get a small percentage back, which will help the channel out so we can buy more pops and create more content for you. So I would really appreciate it if you go check it out. And this is a venomized pop that's fully covered we have a character that's fully covered in the symbiote and we have no tentacles or he's like halfway through just getting the symbiote or whatever and we got tentacles coming out or he's struggling to fight it off or anything like that so this is a fully covered punisher in the symbiote suit so let's check it out i'm excited he looks great. This is a very beautiful design. Here's the side of the box. And here is the back of the box with the new Venomized line. Well, one of the latest, right? But they did add Punisher and Ultron on the back. And I believe they don't, they are not on there. So let me go grab one of my old ones here and see what we got. So here is Venomized X-23. This is Wave 2. And on the back, we have Thanos, Groot, Storm, Daredevil, X-23, and Rocket. And on this one, we have Punisher and Ultron added. So are, are we looking at Wave 2 Part 2? I don't know. But there we go. I just thought that would be kind of fun to share with you on there. But yeah, let's open them up and see what we got going on. Can't wait when they're going to start implementing chases with these on these venomized ones. So there he is. Damn, his mask looks sick. It's like the skull, right? The skull from his uh, low. You can see the detail on his face from the regular like skull logo on his shirt. And then kind of like looks man the masks look so cool it's like the skull right the skull shape uh, from the nose and the, the, the mouth cover here man you got to take your pops out because there's so much detail that Funko does with these little guys and there's his gun it has some teeth I think that's hilarious that the gun has teeth that is probably one of the stupidest things <laughs> Why would you have teeth on, on the gun? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. It's so stupid. But whatever. It just, it, it kind of almost throws off the whole pop with that uh, teeth on there. Oops, sorry about that. Looks like someone's out there trying to grab somebody. So there's his chest logo with the spider legs on the side. That is genius. And we got some ammo, his boots. Nothing crazy going on, but yeah, his fist does have like that symbiote uh, web uh, style on his hand. Not sure what you call that, but yeah, they got that on the other hand too. And on the back of his jacket, we got the same logo with the skull and the legs. That is so perfect. That's genius that they did that. And they gave Punisher a, a butt, I guess, and some muscles on his legs because he is a boss. He is. He is an awesome character in the Marvel Universe. So glad they chose him too on this new wave of uh, Venomized Pops. Damn, I can't get over that mask though. Look at that. So sick. Although we're not seeing like a lot of tentacles and a lot of crazy details going on, this is a super clean pop that I love so much. And this is a great example of how a character would look completely covered in the symbiote. The jacket is sick. The one thing that does bother me though is the teeth on the gun. I think that is just so dumb. They, they should have done like, uh, he should have been holding like a baseball bat with like teeth coming out of that, you know, like spikes or something. The spikes that were teeth, that would have made more sense. Uh, 
as far as a gun, uh, I mean, it, it could have been a gun, but it would have been a lot better if the gun was bare, like had tentacles and stuff coming out of it, like it was more alive. But we just see teeth on like the magazine where you you know add the ammo to the gun, right? And I don't know if he's shooting out teeth, cause that's why I think it's stupid, cause you're like you're shooting out teeth out of your gun if it's you know the, it's the magazine, right? I don't know. I just I just think it's funny that they did that, but whatever. I'll, I'll look into it and see why they did that, as to why they put teeth on the gun. But yeah, overall, I love this pop. Give it a two thumbs up. It's perfect. I love the mask. The mask is so sick. Can't get over that. It's perfect. It looks just like the skull from his shirt. Super clean. Love the paint job. There is a little defect right there, but no big deal. No big deal. And that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Helps me out a lot. Any questions, as always, comment down below. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.